Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I was just thought I had my lights sorted, but I haven't. I've got uh, been a while since I've um, done some embellishment making, so I thought we'd do that today. I'm using this lovely kit by Uniquely Creative called A Very Vintage Christmas. So I'll just make a couple today. We're not going to do lots because um, yes, I don't know why. Because because. <laughs> All right, so sometimes I like to sort of start off with a bigger element. So I've got this one here that says fun. Uh, I might put a bit of flour on there on the side like that. Work out one that sort of think that sort of goes. Might add a word. Let's do a word. What should we do a dark red word or a? It doesn't matter if you. St I I I don't mind not seeing the word. I'm happy just to use the element. So I might use this one here today. Um. Having a, oh, I've had lots of trouble with my arms and shoulders and the doctor thinks I've got bursitis. I'm going back to see him this week to see if that's what I've got on my shoulder. So my whole arm is very sore and I'm thinking that the amount of crafting I like to do is going to keep coming back. So I've um, invested in a scan cut and it came yesterday, which means I've had to reorganise everything here to fit it in. To fit it in. It was huge. I don't know if I want that like that. I think I might like, I actually quite like the element sort of doodle do upside down, maybe. I just like, I just like to add the colour and just to add the, the colour there. Just like that. Doesn't need anything else. Doesn't need this for Father Christmas. No, doesn't really go. What about a snowflake? Okay. So I've tried out my um, new scanner cup by cutting a few cutting a few things from and it's a bit of a learning curve really about how it works uh, some of the things have worked out really well and other things mm. <laughs> I think I might have to take some uh, to go around the whole thing I can't find my can't find the snowflake that was supposed to be cut earlier maybe a bird where's the bird Sorry, sorry about this. I thought I had um, everything I needed to hand, but I don't. Oh, there's a there's a snowflake. After all that, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I know I've got some birds somewhere. Just go find find where it is. Just um. There it is there. Yes, I quite like that. So we're going to stick that all down. There's a bit of 450. Quite. I uh, quite like this dog, this glue, but down the bottom, it's not because it's, um gets thicker, it's just it's hard enough to squeeze the bottle down the bottom for me because of the to get the glue down the bottom so I feel like I'm wasting half of it I'm not too sure what do other people do for the bottom of their glues I know somebody said use some acetone acetone um, but to thin it but I don't think that's the problem I think the problem is, is I can't squeeze the bottle it's just too too hard at the bottom there to squeeze down here it just becomes really difficult to squeeze it the um the glue out so if you've got any ideas about how to fix that I'll put them to one side over here. Now I can't remember how I had that flower now. I don't want to be able to see the word. It's better. It's upside down before. Put the glue on the back of that one. No, I don't want to put glue on the front one. I want to put glue on the front. <laughs> oh. 
having this new scanner cut just over here took up two I've got two um, Alex drawers and uh, from Ikea and I used to have my Gemini Junior and a whole heap of other things on top of it but I've had to reorganise all of that so let's sort of fit everything on do I want to put the, maybe the, the cherries instead of the bird oh that looks nice does the bird still go as well is that too much I'm going, to put the cherry, I'm going to put the cherries there. They definitely go. Um, if you have not seen my um, embellishment making videos before, I've got a few. If you want to look at my previous play, if you look where I look at my plays list, it says embellishment making. Um, I find other things that I've done and. Um, So I haven't done that on YouTube for a while, so I thought I'd just do it again today. All right, that's sort of got cut off by my scanner cut, so now I know that next time I've got something white here, I'll have to go around, make sure I've got it around there. But it's alright because I can cover it off with a cover up with something else. So that's one embellishment I quite like, like that one. So what I do with my embellishments is then. Put it on the card base. So I can find the card base it's already cut. Put it on the card base and build my card around that. So I mean, it could be something like this, a bit of paper, or um, more leaves. You know, you can do it however you like. Really, it's just. Oh, <laughs> that worked out worked quite quickly, and you can use a, a, a pattern paper to go around the outside as well. So, uh, unbelievable! I should take a photograph of that, but I can't. I'm taking a video of my phone. <laughs> the way that turned out, probably funny enough. That looks really good. Anyway, I have to try and remember that one. So, there's one embellishment. Okay, I'll keep it to one side. I've got some other things to make here. Put them. Over here, got bits everywhere here. Good. I think I've worked out is um, my scanning cut. It's good to have, sort of have a have a try of it to see how it would work. Um, next embellishment, I'm going to use this gorgeous frame, and this frame had this Father Christmas in it, but I'm going to use this Father Christmas. And I'm going to stick that on there. You could elevate it if you want to make it more sort of um, 3D-ish. I love these frames. They're gorgeous. Right up my street. Whoever designed this, this collection, thank you. It's gorgeous. And then I, I'm on the back of the um, inspiration book. The next one is just as gorgeous. Yes, the next one is so cute. Well, I think it is. It's another thing that's up my street, my alley. So I'm looking forward to having that as well. Oh, sneak peeks, these have to. I won't show it to you because some people haven't um, don't subscribe or don't get this kit and might well don't want to spoil, spoil, spoil their surprise. So do I want a 3D it or not? A 3D it will be up here. Oh, I think I'll, I'll, just a little bit maybe. And because I want to do just a little bit. No, do I want to make it easy, life easier for myself and use fine dots? <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes using cardboard's fine, but oh, sometimes just excuse my hand, sorry. My fine dots are stuck. Oh, there's only two on there anyway. Blow. Hopefully I've got some more in here. Yes. 
Sorry, my hands are in the way. My phone, my phone drops are right, just right there. So is my um, glue and my envelopes and cards that I'm. That you, no, they come in the kits, you know. Like I've just got a card. There's some cards and envelopes to match in the in the kit that came. This, this vintage kit. Oh there. Uh, otherwise, I just cut the cut the card myself from A4 paper and um, uh, buy envelopes in bulk from Spotlight. I mean, I love the uniquely creative card and their envelopes. That's great, but for my purposes, sometimes sometimes um, I fit into the the square. The rectangle cards do, but the square cards is a little bit. Don't fit into the cello bags that I buy to put my cards in when I go to market. So I can't close it, can't close the cello up. Oh, well, we can see that. Does not want to see that, do we? We don't want to see that. Easier to cover them off now than it is later. So, because if you don't have phone dots, um, you can use card. I would have today, but. Sometimes I would have normally, but because I'm filming, um, it's quicker. <laughs> this way. Oh, I'll try and cut this. It's a pain not being able to cut things yourself because, I mean, I can do it easily enough. It's just that afterwards I pay the price. My arm is just, just so painful afterwards. So. That's why I bought the machine, but just for quick work like this, I think I'll just keep doing the cutting. And I've got myself a pair of the ergonomic scissors as well, but I haven't got the hang of it yet. So for this embellishment, I'm going to put a, something on the side here where there's one of those. Oh, well, we can't see the chimney, okay. Is there a small one, maybe? There's quite a few here. We could just do a um, Merry Christmas to all thing. But let me just cut it out. I've got one already cut. Mm. Oh. I should use the economic scissors, but because I'm more used to using these, it's just quicker for me to do it. I've found that using the economic scissors was fine, it's just because I'm not used to them, it's a bit slow, and because I'm, again, because I'm recording, I'm just going to do it really quickly with a pair of scissors, and hopefully I'm not going to overdo my arm. I was talking to the, my hairdresser, and she was saying that she actually had to have a bit of sinus operation in the end, because of the you know, the way the hairdressers have to hold their arms. She had cortisone injections and then she had to have a um, uh, operation in the end. But I'll, I'd rather avoid that if I, if I can. So, I mean, she had to because that's her job. Um, and uh, and she's an older person doing it too. For, so, and I, you know, I admire hairdressers because they sit on their feet a lot. And I don't know if many of them actually have a lunch break. They all seem to be working. Hmm. Don't like that after all. After all that. And that's the thing. You've got to have to play to sort of work out what, what, what you like and uh, what you don't like. And so I might just do what I was going to do in the first place, which was use use one of these flowers. Where's one of these? Is it? Points over here. That works. And it doesn't matter if the other one's covered up a lot because you still can see the dangling underneath. So I can just see, I still see the chimney. So I just put it over here a bit. So it's not too much for a card. Let's look at this card base. Just fix on the card base. Put two together there. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got one behind, one in front. So let's stick this one on. 
Normally I have all my elements cut out together, but like I said, I was having real trouble cutting it all out. And my arm is so, so painful. So I had to, didn't end up cutting it all out because I just didn't, um, wasn't able to. This one was cut out by my scan and cut. I tried it out for the first time today because we only got it yesterday from Spotbot. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could always do just to balance it out a little, you could have a little word there or another piece of holly. Pick it up, okay. Piece of holly there or another leaf, maybe. That works too. Or one of these longer words. Just to balance it out a little bit. You know, it's your card. It's up to you how you do it. You can do it like a bit on that side. Cut it, and cut it off. Put some on that side and the rest of it on there. But um, I won't do that because I haven't decided what I want there yet. And that could take a while. <laughs> oh, this collection is so beautiful. Thank you very much for, for giving it to us, um, Tracy and your team at Uniquely Creative. It's just beautiful. I love all the vintage, vintageness and the colours. It's just awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today and I uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.